Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to discuss one of the most common used indicators for technical analysis, the MACD indicator. If you're new to our channel, uh, you're welcome to describe by clicking the subscribe button in the bottom corner. It really helps our channel growing and we would be extremely thankful for your support. So let's get started. So the MACD is short for Moving Average Convergence Divergence. It's a trading indicator used in technical analysis. It was created by Gerald Apple in the 1970s, and it is designed to reveal changes in the strength, direction, momentum, and duration of a trend in a stock price. The MACD is calculated by subtracting the 26 period exponential moving average EMA from the 12 period EMA. The result of the calculation is the MACD line. A nine day EMA of the MACD called the signal line is then plotted on top of the MACD line, which can function as a trigger for buy and sell signals. So when we open the MACD indicator in any trading platform, it will look sim something similar to this. We have the black line, which is the MACD line. We have the red line, which is the signal line. And then we have the histogram. So the histogram shows the distance between the MACD line and the signal line. When the histogram becomes zero, it indicates that you have a crossing of the MACD line and the signal line. And this can indicate a buying or selling opportunity. When the MACD line crosses the signal line and goes underneath, it is a signal to sell. When the MACD line goes above the signal line, it's an indication to buy. See that the histogram also turns into zero when this happens. Furthermore, when the MACD line goes beneath the uh, signal line is an indication to sell and when it goes back up again it's a signal to buy. Here we have a daily chart of the WTI crude oil and by comparing the price action of oil and the MACD line we can see how this indicator functions. So we have a crossing here, the MACD line goes under the signal line, given an indicator that is to sell. Then we have the MACD line going above the signal line, indicating a buying opportunity. Then underneath again is a selling opportunity, then a signal to buy, signal to sell and then a signal to buy. Even though the MACD indicator is an extremely powerful tool, it should always be used uh, with other indicators. You should never just use the MACD indicator in order to determine whether or not you should buy or to sell. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like to support our channel, we'll be very happy if you click the subscribe button at the bottom. Uh, give us a like and hit the bell button in order to uh, get notification of our next video. Our next video will be the stochastic uh, indicator. Thank you very much.